hey guys welcome back to my channel <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and then hit the notification button so you can receive more cool content from this channel so in this tutorial i want to kind of recreate i think it's more or less like a fan i won't entirely call it a fan art though but this character actually caught my attention so the game should be releasing by august 20th of 24 which is this month but probably if you're watching this besides this month should should, should 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 have already been out already for you to purchase so enough of that so i want to kind of create the same character so just the head though i'm not going to be creating the entire body because that would just be too long but i actually want to just recreate the head so i've gotten several this is, this is like screenshot from the trailer so I got several screenshot from the trailer to recreate with. Got several shots from the trailer to recreate with. Okay, and I also have other references too. The yeah, other references too. But this is going to this is going to be my hero shot to kind of match with, and if possible also also match the environment lighting box. For now, I'm going to be focusing on the sculpt. So, uh, oh, the game Wukong Black Meat that's the name of the game. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. So, now the my thought process for creating this was that this, even though it looks like a human head, it has some kind of specific features that looks like that of a monkey. And going online to make my research, I found that the most similar. This is 3D model. The most similar monkey to this was a macaque. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Rhesus macaque. Maybe probably macaque. Probably that's the name. Okay. So this was the closest one I could find. If you, if you look at it carefully, you notice it has. Let me bring this. Let me see if I can also bring this out here and expand this out so I can show you guys correctly. So this is my hero shot. If you notice the nose structure looks very similar. So the other reference is also of this. You can see the nose structure looks very similar. Even also almost the lip also similar. Almost similar. But this feels more like it's kind of averaging out between like adding like adding like an extra 10% or rather 20% of this monkey's lips on this human like leads to this <clears throat> so i'm going to be introducing some of those features in here just to give it that monkey vibe to it so as you can see you can see some more depth around this cheek region this cheek region i also have a skull to kind of illustrate that which in here is not so much though it's not so much though but we, but we can at least see some traces of it let me see okay let me see yeah this one also from the side from the side view you can see this from the side view but i think i don't know if you have i don't really i don't really have a precise side view okay let me just use this instead you can see but this is not really coming out way too much as much as this it still has that feature to that of a human which is kind of almost 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 flat not completely flat, flat though almost flat so i'm going to be kind of moving through using structures of a mark monkey and then still keeping keeping the human like head structure to it so this is another one also from the side and we have then we have this call you can see how this region in front here is protruding out very much. But for that of a human skull, it's not pulling out this much. So we're going to be taking a deep dive into all of this. But just to give you guys a brief introduction to a brief introduction to how I'm um, my thinking process to kind of tackle kind of tackle a character like this. So uh yes, let's 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 jump right into it. Though, was it going to be doing some supplementary or necessary or complementary, whichever word you prefer to use, human anatomy for 
this to kind of get this looking as accurate as we can. So over the years, I've gotten some base mesh to use, and some also that I've kind of modified to make it look a bit of the structure I'm going for. For example, this part line. This part line is from 3D Scan Store. I think I should be dropping the link in the video description also. This one is also from 3D Scan Store. I believe. I believe. This also, yes, these three also from 3D Scan Store, I believe. This one is from somewhere else. I don't really remember where I got this from. But, but enough of that, we're not really here to talk about base, base meshes and where I got them from. But the one I'm going to be using, I should be dropping the link in the description. So you guys can get that also. And if you are purchasing this tutorial, you should be getting the, I think the model, the project files of the modded version of the modded version of this of using this base match to create the character so that's for those who be getting the at least a modified version of this that you can extract a base match from also after sculpting my details of the character on top of it on top of it so yes uh so this is one i'm going to be using because i'm just going to model the i'm, not, I'm only going to sculpt on the head so sculpt, sculpting for just the head so i'm going to create a new maya file With a new Maya file, so I can import that in okay. So she just go back to my file, go back to my file. Let me name this to create a new folder. Z import so this will be where I'm going to be saving all the files that I'm importing from I'm importing into ZBrush. So that's the name should be self explanatory. Okay, so that out of the way. Then go back in here. Alright, let me just this few moments just advertise another of my tutorial which you guys should actually see i'm sure by now it should be up on my on my youtube page so this is another character i'm working on so if you find a tutorial also on my youtube page if you're interested you can always look that up from start to finish the entire model from start to finish is in the base mash so you should find that in my youtube channel so please check that out okay so back to this so i'm going to select i'm just going to select this head model select this head model okay then i can just do a copy and i'll just paste this in here so you should come with a funky name but let me just drop this out shift shift p to drop this out of that group now just delete that group okay so we need to drag this to the center of our camp of our grid so i believe i can select this center this i think i can snap not snap to point, snap to grid. Get a closer view in here. Okay, this should be. Let me view this. So this should be. Let me drag this all the way to the center of our grid line. Okay, yeah, it is directly on the center now. I believe it's directly on the center, so it's important to kind of get this at the center. Also, one thing I think I should okay, let me just let me just talk about that because I, I feel that is important for you guys to know. Though, in my previous tutorial for creating ed, ed sculpts, I always talk about it, but let me just talk about it here also just to make sure we are all in this on the same page. 
just make it all, all, on, all, all on the same page. So I'm just going to save save this in here. Name this to Kong Ed. Okay, that should be fine. Then another thing I like to do is to adjust the camera setting. The camera setting in here I'm going to be using should be, I believe the focal lens should be on 85 millimeter lens. This for a portrait, this should be fine. Very important. I will also try to match that also in also to try to match that also in ZBrush. So this should be fine for now. So what I'm talking about is the scale of the head. So you want to be using accurate scale for the head. Let me see if I can. Okay, so for an average head, so 99 percentile of people have an average edge of I believe somewhere around 25 centimeter. So this year is a cent centimeter. So I think my measurement should be on centimeter also. If I should check this, try and check this setting preferences. Set, set settings in here. Yes, it's on centimeter. You can actually you can always change that to whatever measurements you want to use. So, when I'm on centimeter, which is fine. So, if I'm to measure this head, so I should measure the length of the head at least from the where the air line kind of air line kind of starts from all the way to the lower part of the jaw. So, let me just do this from the side view. So, let me just bring out my measuring to create measure to distance so let's draw something around here all the way so let's see all the way here it's pushing inside though but that's fine let me just select all of this can i can i move this out okay yes i can let me move this out like so so we should look at this now around 25.5 centimeter which is kind of roughly around there if you look at this properly it's roughly around there you can see why is why is shrinking in i don't know i don't know if you can see this though let me see if i can turn off this grid for now so you can see 25 i mean 26 rather in here so but well, i believe this should be somewhere Let's see if i can select second locator Great. Oh, let me turn off this grid snapping. Get this somewhere around where the airline airline should be. Somewhere around the air, like so. But at least we're not getting a value that is too far from an average edge. So I'm not getting a value that is too far from an average edge. Which is fine, just to show you guys that the measurement is correct. So I've already scaled this out to the correct measurement. So if there is no scale that scaled out to the correct measurement, just make sure you kind of get this roughly around these values. And you should be fine. Okay, so then we need some eyeballs for this. I'm going to be using my own Chris, my own kind of my own eyeball modeling here. I model. Let me just steal. Still the one I have for this. Think I can give this guy. I can I can give you guys this for free. Think I can do that for free. So I'm just going to select the outer eye and the inner eye. Just do a copy. Copy come in here, and I'll just paste this in here. Okay. So already I mean, let me select the two, give them a, a default material. Should probably will make this make this two a bit. Let me give it a blank material instead. The darker shade to it. Okay. And I'll drop this out of that group, delete that group. Probably will move the delete this pasting name paste paste name in there. Okay. 
right so let's push this in place let's group this center pivot on this and kind of get this get this roughly in place think we should be okay, forward a bit more not too much though yeah obviously we need to adjust the eye a bit more but I think let's see somewhere somewhere pretty much like it should be fine at least for now so in zbrush we would make some more correction and adjustment to this but this this is sitting quite nicely in the correct spot so it should be fine so the next thing i'm going to do is going to i'm going to export this out let me just rename this to from edge and I'm going to export it to the outer eyes, but I'm going to export them out separately. So we're in a good spot now. Just checking. This is okay. Let's make sure we have UVs on here. For the eye, I'm certain that I already have UVs on there for the eye. So let's see the UVs for this. The eye is really good. Just some really good UVs. You can see how this is even spread out. The cap pattern is even spread out around the entire model. Yeah, we can definitely, no doubt, we can definitely work with this. It should work just fine. So, we're all set. Yeah, I use that definitely in there. So, we're good. Okay. We should be good. Save this again. So let me start by exporting out the base match for the head. Okay, I want to export this out as an OBJ. What did I just do? Great. Uh, okay, export this out as an OBJ. Name just to open head. Probably name this to base head instead. Base head. So for this, I really need to export out the outer eye. So just the outer eye I need. Oh, got to export something out also. The eye. Something else need to export. Let's just seal this one in here. Copy, paste that in here. Bring this out of the group. Okay. Now just delete this. Only that. We could save. Just try to just roughly get this in. I'm still going to modify that later on. Let's just roughly get that somewhat in, somewhat in place. Just roughly somewhere around here should be fine. Maybe out a bit more. Yeah, somewhere around this should be fine. We'll modify this later on, but for now, I think it should be that should be just fine. Okay, copy this, export this out. Um, okay, I, okay, I've already exported that out already. Let's export this in the screws out. It's just like the tear dot under the eye. See if I can find. 
the reference that's um okay so it's basically this tier dot around the eye so it's basically this tier dot around the eye that's what this minus plus is for so let me just export that out also do a quick save for this file so now let's just jump right into zbrush so once you open the zbrush i just use let's double click on this default project that's basically all i did to bring this out then i'm going to import going to import the head on top of this z you come on the wrong folder Okay. Okay. Head. Okay. Place that. Let's do an append. Import. Outer eye. Do another append. Select this. Import. All right. So we are good. All that we need to do in here is to yes save. Let's save this first. Let's save this. Save this. Okay. Open head design. <clears throat> this is something more familiar. They were familiar with head sculpts. All right, so <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do is to make sure the camera is all set up correctly as you should. So under draw, using the same 85 millimeter lens, I always like to drag this all the way up. I don't know, give me, I don't know if it gives me a better angle to it. You might not necessarily need to do that though. Maybe let's not even do that at all. Maybe not don't do that so much. But I find. That, that gives me but do I have perspective turned on the perspective is turned on that seems to give me pretty much better but I don't go all the way to the end though maybe somewhere around somewhere around five no type in six somewhere around five seems to work seems to work well for me okay so we have this in here now believe with this we are good to go so next lesson we're going to fire down and then start sculpting on this so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next lesson bye for now